morning and welcome to Burford Caravan and Motorhome Club site and we're here today and we're going to take a look around. And real quick before we start here, if you like this video, why not go ahead and click that thumbs up button. And if you really like the video, head over and subscribe to the channel. Burford Caravan and Motorhome Club site is situated on the edge of the Cotswolds and is really conveniently located if you want to visit the Cotswold Wildlife Park because you can walk there straight from your pitch. The road approaching is the A361. It is a decent road and it's just a quick turn in and you'll find the entrance to the park not too far down on the right hand side as you'll see now. So here we are, we are going to take a quick walk around the park, starting as always at the entrance near reception. Here is a quick example of one of the grass pictures. Not very grassy because of all the dry weather we've been having recently. So we're going to take a stroll around most of the lanes here around the park. Uh, they vary between grass and hard standing pictures and you can see which is which as we go around. Some are bigger than others I think but they're all pretty decent sizes. And the reception area of course is as you enter the park there was a small shop inside uh, selling some minimum essentials and some treats but there's also an information hut with lots of information and loads of leaflets on what's to do nearby and there's just one shower block here but there was plenty of cubicles inside pretty typical for a caravan and motorhome club site The showers themselves were great, they had proper taps with decent pressure and it meant you didn't have to keep pushing a button every 10 seconds to get some water. There were also three pegs and a small shelf, not really a bench because you couldn't really sit on it but handy to put a few of your essentials. And again, pretty standard for caravan and motorhome club site, the washing up area, several sinks and they had drainers as well, which was really handy. And the lawn 
laundry area with one washing machine, one dryer and a couple of sinks if needed. The bin area had lots of tiny bins in, uh, plenty of room, we never found them full up while we were there and a separate area for recycling and its own bin for your glass. And there was also separate areas dotted around the park, not just around the toilet block. Here's one that was in the middle of the park as well with bins and our sand units and all the water you need. And of course there is the usual motorhome service point tap water to fill up your cold water tanks and a dump station to empty them if necessary along with your grey waste. And here is the indoor chemical waste point, again pretty typical. Nice big bowl to tip your cassette toilet into and a flushing station with a hose pipe to rinse out. And first up the play area. Just to let you know that we were told by one of the workers that we weren't allowed to use the ball around our camper van because we were just kicking the ball between us, Max and I. Um, but there is this big field to play ball games on along with the play area with lots of apparatus for the kids to enjoy. And here there are actually two dog walking areas. There's a walking area here, which is by reception, where you have to keep your dog on the lead, but there's a second one where you are allowed to bring the ball and let them roam free off the lead so you can choose which one suits you best. Okay well what's nearby of course the Cotswolds Wildlife Park is directly opposite the park itself and just down the road is the Crocodile of the World exhibition which we found out about while we were there. It is also just 45 minutes from Oxford and 45 minutes the other way to Cheltenham, so it's a well placed to visit lots of different things. So in summary, the Burford Caravan Motor Home Club site is a decent site for visiting the Cotswold Wildlife Park, but be warned, occasionally you do get a plane overhead. But we didn't see too many of them and if we were visiting the area again to go back to the wildlife park or the other nearby attractions we wouldn't hesitate in staying here. Thank you for watching, I hope you found that review useful. Oh, I forgot to mention, there are plenty of on-site food trucks that turn up throughout the week so don't forget to check the blackboards and the signs are up around the park to tell you what day. And until next time, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.